What's going on fam, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so finally I did it again. I got a pair of Diodoras in and I know a I got a lot of hate on the last Diodora video because I said they were terrible and I stand by that. I don't think they're a very good football boot, at least the ones that I tried. But I have faith that these ones are gonna be pretty, pretty good because they follow a very similar design language to a lot of boots, including this one right there that I really, really love. So without further ado, guys, let's hop into the unboxing of the, let's see if I can get this name right, Diodora Brazil Elite Veloce GR ITA, Italy, LPX. Let's hop into it. So Diodora comes with some pretty cool unboxing experiences. I actually really like these Diodora boxes. This is sort of a textured black, uh, almost like a grip tape type situation. It's not obviously that sticky, but it's a really nice textured material. It has the Diodora logo with the calico or calcio. I Please, if you speak Italian, let me know in the bottom, uh, in the comment section below, how you pronounce this. And this is made in Italy. And then you've got the same logoing there on the side. You've got the sizing chart, which by the way, I did go down half a size um, because these are going to be a, oh, US men's nine. Huh. Well, I think these might be the wrong size. We will see. I actually was supposed to get an 8.5, but anyway, we'll unbox them and do the whole thing, and then you won't even notice the difference if I do end up with an 8.5. So these are a US 9, they're supposed to be an 8.5, but the Brazil Elite Veloce GR ITA LPX. Let's get these unboxed. Here we go. Let's see if I can find, there we are. All right. Unboxing, very, very cool. So you do get the uh, Diodora factory graphic there on the inside, which is pretty cool. And then I'll spin this around. And then on the other side, you do get sort of that like craftsman graphic there as well. And we'll open it up. Boom, all right. There we go. Very, very nice. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So let me check the sizing. Yeah, okay, these are a US size nine. Well, they were supposed to be an 8.5, but I think these got mixed up, which is kind of a bummer. Oh, well, anyway, uh, you won't notice it. When I do have the um, on feet portion of the video, I will have the 8.5. I went down half a size for a good reason because I think these are gonna be too big. Um, but anyway, these are the Brazil Elite Veloce GR ITA LPX. Now, these follow a very similar design language. First of all, I think the color is kind of cool. Um, similar to, this actually is like the same exact color combo as the Puma Future Ultimate FTR7. So you've got the white, the pink, and then this kind of baby blue or sky blue colorway. Very, very cool there. No string bag, unfortunately, but there you go. You got the boots. Here we go. All right. Get this out of the way. And we'll throw these down here. Now, the reason why I say that these are uh, very similar in design language to the 99 gram leather boots, we see this in the Ultreza 3, we see this in DS Lite X-Fly 5, uh, X-Fly Pro 2, Morelia Neo 4, Neo, uh, not the beta model, um, so the regular Neo 4. Basically what this is, is it's a leather forefoot and toe box area. You've got the synthetic midfoot and then you've got a pretty speed, speed boot focused sole plate, which is really, really nice. Quite a lightweight boot as well, um, but this is basically Diodora's version of this football boot. So that's super, super fantastic as well. So let's get into some of the tech specs of what makes this particular football boot special in the Diodora line. As you guys know, Diodora is known for their leather football boots. Unfortunately, this is not K-leather, which is really interesting. It's just advertised as made in Italy with premium leather. Um, the way that it fits and feel, or not fits, but the way that it feels, I would guess this is Italian calfskin leather. Um, it's a little bit thicker than what you might find on say a made in Japan uh, Mizuno model, not as far as quality goes, but I just think that these are gonna be a little bit more um, the, the reason I say that is just because it's, it's not the K, premium K leather. This is a lot thicker as far as, 
um, the way that these feel under my thumb. These come in at around 6.7 ounces or 190 grams, which is pretty impressive for a boot like this. Obviously the midfoot here is very, very thin, super, super similar to that 99 gram leather speed portal, which I will get out maybe in just a minute. Basically their, their philosophy behind this boot was blending vintage Diodora feel with the modern technical innovation. So they've got the sole plate that is um, a P-back sole plate with the 12 TPU studs, and then you've got the Dudora logo actually built in as sort of this midfoot shank, if you will, or this midfoot stability frame, which is kind of a cool uh, little detail there. As far as flexibility goes, it's quite quite rigid through the midfoot, which is awesome. And then there's a decent amount of flexibility and snapback through this forefoot area, which I imagine will be really nice. Most of these studs are a little bit more of a teardrop shape or a little like a uh, messaging logo, if you will. And uh, yeah, so I think these are going to be suitable for most stud. Uh, I keep saying studs. Most this configuration, wow, can't speak English here, uh, is, is very good for um, most pitch types. So whether you're on FG or AG, these should be totally fine. Um, the studs are not overly long either, as you can see here. It's uh, it's pretty reasonable. So I actually think this stud pattern is going to work really well for me. This is the kind of stud pattern that I typically like to use because it's going to be transitionable over from FG to AG and vice versa as well. You've got the synthetic mesh midfoot here, which obviously the Diodora logo is stitched all the way over, probably to add a little bit of that lateral stability because it is a synthetic logo here um, but this synthetic mesh here in the midfoot is super super thin I'll see if I can get this all kind of opened up for you guys today I am a little bit bummed that for whatever reason um, I went and grabbed an 8.5 and they sent me a 9 which is kind of annoying but uh, we're just going to deal with that the reason I went with the 8.5 is because the 9 US in the previous generation Brazil that I tried on that red colorway that I basically was like don't buy these those boots felt absolutely gigantic and the sizing was just all over the place so for me um, I think going down half a size is probably going to be a better option for most people now here we go so now you can kind of see hopefully there you go the inside of that boot which you see is super super thin so it's really really nice and then you've got what looks like kind of an internal suede cage which is the pink on the inside so that pink way down here that sort of suede cage goes inside this synthetic mesh material to add probably a little bit of structure and it's the same material that's on here on the bottom of the tongue so it's it's pretty soft really nice um, in the hands at least and i imagine that it will be probably really nice once you start to break it in as well um, let me for conversation's sake actually grab the 99 gram leather because i want to show you guys how similar these two boots look so if you look at them underneath the camera here as you can see they are so similar so you've got the kind of thicker leather the leather on the 99 gram feels more premium straight out of the box um, this does feel nice but it's very very stiff uh, in comparison like as you can see it's like kind of not even a competition as far as that goes um, and then pretty much every other aspect of the 99 gram leather boot as far as you know obviously being different colors but you can see the white suede material here and then it's got that sort of grid pattern cage that is exactly the same if you look at the underside of the tongue right there there you go there's your grid pattern cage and there's your suede material and it cuts off the leather cuts off basically at the same point right at the base of the lacing system you've got a micro suede heel liner and even the heels look almost identical look at that like the suede heels look almost exactly the same you've got the logo there on the adidas side um, the external heel counter is almost exactly the same as well so obviously you have the stability wing here but it basically has the same shape as this diodora one there and then from a stud pattern perspective it's almost identical as well obviously you've got the carbotex on the 99 gram leather um, and these are a little bit more aggressive studs being uh, a little more kind of angled chevron type studs and then you've got an extra rounded stud up here on the diodora there a little bit more um, but that's pretty expected from conical studs usually they'll put either four here and three here or four here and four here um, just to give you guys a little bit extra grip on 
any whatever surface you're playing for but kind of remarkable like how similar these two boots are obviously the stitching pattern of the Diodora logo is probably going to give you a little bit of extra lockdown there um, but as far as the construction goes these are basically identical football boots which is super super interesting so um, from a construction standpoint it sounds like Diodora took what really worked for some other brands and built it into their own kind of DNA and followed their own DNA I'm really excited to try these on I think these are going to fit probably pretty comfortable straight out of the box they look like they have a decent amount of width especially here in the forefoot area and then i imagine that this material here in the midfoot will stretch pretty well just like it, oops, excuse me just like the 99 gram leather did when i wore it this is obviously a new pair um, but the uh, diodora <sighs> Brazil Elite Veloce GR ITA LPX, which needs some renaming. These are definitely a pair of football boots that I could see myself wearing and training um, to whip around in and stuff because I think these are really cool looking. They're pretty lightweight as well. And I imagine once I sort of start to get used to the leather upper being a little bit thicker, I reckon it'll be just fine. The one thing though that I did complain about this boot that's probably even more pronounced on this one, and we'll go to the overhead camera just so you guys can see, one of the major reasons why I complained about this boot in particular was that especially once you start to break it in and this leather starts to kind of absorb a little bit of sweat and water and it gets a little bit more kind of pudgy, if you will, the transition between this insanely thin 99 gram uh, midfoot, this mesh midfoot and the leather became really pronounced and so there was this stitching here where you'd have this kind of bulbous shape from the leather now that doesn't really make that much of a difference unless you're trying to bend or basically strike the ball in this area and then it gets really kind of awkward because of how much this is like raised up and then it drops straight off for this really barefoot sensation especially if you're you know most footballers now they sort of have a pretty pronounced knuckle in your big toe that sits like right there. And so I imagine that this one out of the box is even, look at that, it's even more pronounced in these ones already. That being said, in comparison to the 99 gram leather, they actually took the leather piece and made it a little bit more kind of, it's there's more leather in this forefoot than in the 99 gram leather. So I imagine that this striking surface will hopefully be you'll just sort of feel the padded sensation of the leather as opposed to sort of a half and half sensation like you did on the 99 gram leather. So that's sort of a long winded explanation of one of the reasons why I got really frustrated with the 99 gram leather boots. Um, but overall, I think this is going to be a pretty cool football boot to play in. And I really uh, am excited to try these on. I imagine these are actually going to be pretty good straight out of the box. Um, but let's actually get into the on feet portion of the video. Let's hop into it. All right, fam, out here in the backyard with the Diodora Elite Veloce LPX ITA GR. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, um, so to confirm with the sizing, I did go half a size down, tried on the 9 US. I was actually supposed to get an 8.5 US, um, but for whatever reason, they handed me the 9 after I had tried on the 8.5 in store. It was a whole thing. But anyway, Ultra Football does stock these. So if you guys want to go uh, grab a pair from there, you can. Um, very, very high quality feeling boots in hand, and I'm really excited to try these on. So Again, to confirm, these are half a size down from my normal 9 US. These are an 8.5 US. So just keep that in mind. Very, very cool looking football boots in my opinion. I really like the colorway. Um, very, very clean looking. I think these also come in an all black version as well, which of course is super, super clean. So I am wearing a pair of Wee Foot Grip Socks. You guys can go check out Wee Foot. Link in the description box below. You can get 20% off with code NOAA20. These are the thin version. And then I also really like uh, the thick version for uh, training and matches as well. I like to break in boots with the thin ones just because they're a little bit, a little bit nicer. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So a little bit nice. All right. So these are uh, a little bit stiff in the midfoot. I think the tongue could use a little bit of work, um, but a, a decent shape actually. I don't think these are. Um, I don't think these are bad at all. The leather is definitely a little bit stiff straight out of the box. Um, this tongue should probably be like there, so a little bit shorter maybe. Um, but that's just first impressions. Let's see if I can get these laced up, and we'll go from there. 
Um, overall, pretty decent shape, though. I'm pretty impressed by these. Um, 8.5 is still, I still have a little bit of space there on the toe box area. So as you can see, a um, little bit of extra room on the toe, which is perfect. That's going half a size down. I don't think I'd go a full size down in these just because uh, I think the forefoot will stretch and these will be perfectly suitable for um, my feet once I get those once I get that kind of forefoot broken in and that leather to soften up a little bit. But honestly, first impressions, these are pretty comfortable straight out of the box. I'm very, very impressed. And we'll get this other one on as well. And hopefully slide right in. Let's get this sorted. Um, one thing I am noticing is the stiffness of that midfoot. That's one thing that I think if... Um, if you're somebody who just wants like a super seamless experience straight out of the box, these might not be for you, um, but just having trouble getting those on. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, but overall, honestly, pretty nice shape, pretty neutral shape, I'd say. Uh, if you are somebody who has really, really wide feet, I probably would stay away from these just because the synthetic here in the midfoot is going to cause probably a little bit of um, issues once you're when you're starting to break these in. Um, but overall, uh, from my foot shape, uh, I do like how deep the lacing system is. So as you can see, it does have a pretty deep lacing system. You have quite a few lace loops as well. So as you kind of, you know, in certain areas, you can loosen it up or tie it tighter, um, which is great. The one thing, it doesn't come with a runner's knot, so that's a little bit of a bummer. But honestly, this, this knot is high enough or this hole is high enough where I feel like I can, you know, once I break them in, I'll be able to pull that tight and get a pretty snug fit. So there you go, straight out of the box with the Diodora Elite Veloce. And then I'm not going to remember the rest of the name, but you get the idea. This is like their sort of modern slash modern slash old time speed boot, like kind of combining both pieces of that. Pretty nice, um, nice fit and feel. Relatively low toe box straight out of the box. So as you can see, it does come down quite a bit. Um, it is quite pointed here in the toe box. So just be aware, you might get a little bit of pinching, but do not worry. I imagine this leather, be, particularly because it's K leather, this is gonna stretch and mold totally fine to most foot shapes, um, especially in the toe box area. So I wouldn't worry about that at all. Heel area seems super locked in, really comfortable. Um, I don't feel like there's gonna be any slippage right now, at least my, I, obviously having, wearing Wii foot grip socks, of course, helps, um, but I would say that uh, the shape of the heel is nice and thin. I get a really nice wrap here around the Achilles without there being any pressure points, um, and the flow-on effect from that Diodora logo does sort of kind of keep it, keep the material here tight, tight right around um, that Achilles tendon, which is really nice. I do feel super locked in there. And then from a sole plate perspective, sole plate feels really nice and neutral and grounded. This obviously being like a, an outdoor AG surface, um, they feel pretty good to be honest. I might actually wear these for the play test on AG simply because they are mostly conical studs. So that's a good sign um, from the standpoint of being able to wear them on both FG and AG. And overall though, no hot spots to so far in this review. I'm not getting any numbness in my feet either, which is great. Obviously some speed boots do have that effect for the, the wider part of my foot, which is right in this area, um, but overall really nice. So there's a full look at, uh, get the phone out of the way. Um, there's a full look at my, um, the kit, obviously the black, all black, Noah Cavanaugh kit, which is great. And then the boots look really nice, I think. Um, they're definitely a very, very similar shape. As I said in the unboxing of the portion of the video, they are a super similar shape to that 99 gram leather uh, remake, Speed Portal remake, basically. And um, so from that standpoint, like they don't feel a ton different than those in a lot of ways. I think the leather in the 99 gram Speed Portal is a little bit softer straight out of the box, um, but the overall like sensation as I, if I close my eyes feels extraordinarily similar. Um, sole plate is a little bit different. It's a little bit flatter as opposed to the Speed Portal. So as you can see, um, it does have a little bit of a flatter look to it, whereas uh, the Speed Portal here in this area with that Carbitex starts to bend upwards. So it kind of puts you up on your toes, whereas these are much more neutral and sort of grounded. As far as my preference goes, 
I don't really mind either. I wore the 99 gram leather speed portals last year, uh, earlier on in the season. So about a year ago, almost exactly. And I wore those in a training a bunch and then in games as well, um, performed really, really well. But usually I perform, I, I prefer boots that have a more flat and neutral sole plate so or at least more like sort of flat and don't have any predetermined curve lift to them so from that standpoint i think these are going to crush i think i'm going to really enjoy playing in these from a like a stud pattern perspective they feel really grounded even on a you know an outdoor non-playing turf like the one i have in my backyard um, but let's test test touch on the ball really plush very nice. I actually really like that sensation in the forefoot area. That's a huge plus to these ones is you are going to get the lockdown of the synthetic, um, but with that mesh material, synthetic mesh material, but you're going to get the touch of that leather in the forefoot, which I really like actually. Um, I'm finding just juggling really like to have a really nice sensation. And then of course, if I hit the ball like that with the inside of my foot, you can really feel the difference between the two materials. So you've got the super plush, nice little like touch and it feels very much like a leather boot, not too unlike say a Copa Icon. Like if you were to slap the Copa Icon forefoot on here, I realize the Copa Icon is completely leather, but you get the idea, right? It's a very similar juggling experience to those boots, except in the lacing system area and in the midfoot, as soon as you start juggling like this or like that, or you start passing, you, you feel the difference in how much more barefoot it is. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. One of the main complaints I had with that 99 gram boot was, or 99 point leather boot, is probably going to be similar to this which is the uh sort of the way that this transitions pretty abruptly especially here on the inside of the boot from super super thin synthetic mesh material to plush leather as you can see it's already got this pretty big crease in it and you can feel the difference you can feel that plush leather and then you go over here and it's like i feel every little movement of my finger on the inside of my um, the instep of that midfoot. So we'll see. I mean, when whipping the ball, when passing the ball shouldn't be an issue. Um, it's when I really start to, if I bring the ball over here, if it's when I really start to kind of go like that. So any start, of, anytime I sort of start to, let's just try this camera basically. So anytime I start to kind of do that motion and sort of start to bend the ball, that's where that that's where that abrupt change in material sort of bugged me when I was playing with those Adidas boots. These ones, we'll see how it goes. I imagine they'll be kind of similar, um, but overall sensation of just having these on feet is actually pretty good. Um, I'm very surprised. The last Diodora boot I reviewed was really not my favorite. Now I know I might have had the wrong size and that's a fair, you know, fair enough. Um, but I would say overall, I'm excited to try these. I'm, I'm really excited to wear these for a play test. We'll definitely do a one month review of these, particularly because I can't even I'm not feeling any hot spots or anything, which is a big deal. So let's roll with that. Stay tuned for the play test. Stay tuned for the one month review and we'll get after it. Definitely, um, definitely a boot that I think I'll enjoy playing in at least, um, yeah, at least for training sessions and stuff. Cause these feel, these feel really nice and they feel really locked in. And, uh, as I said before, I have really enjoyed playing with those Adidas 99 point leather boots, which mirror these in a lot of very, very similar ways. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already first link down in the description box below will be for, um, the Wii foot grip socks and second link or first link, uh, will be for the ultra football website where you can find, uh, Noah Cavanaugh merch like this. And then of course, you can get boots like the Diodora Elite Veloce LPX GR ITA in some sort of order, right? As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see y'all in the next video.